Get over here and attack this dipshit. Good job! You... Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Steering Abyss. I'm here right today, ladies and gentlemen. We will dive into some love crafting. Because you, as, as you all know, I do love myself a bit of a horror, a bit of a going insane. And, well, basically this is Lovecraft. The game is coming from our good old friends of Slytherin. And, well, they cannot provide me with a demo version of the game, which I would like to show you. Uh, basically, this is a tactical game. It's a indie tactical squad-based game with some strong ring playing elements. And, well, if you're a fan of Lovecraft, then I'm guessing going insane is completely fine in your book. Now, just so you know, I haven't played this thing and... Oh, hello, okay. Difficulty. Uh, right. Veteran Explorer may... May brave even the darkest abyss and live to tell the tale. <laughs> Hard, only Fox and Madman choose the path devoted of hope. <laughs> devoided of hope. Yeah, okay, let's actually... Let's actually stick to the normal difficulty. And let's actually try to play the story. Now, as I said, I haven't played this for... Oh, hello. Okay. That was quick. Yay, Krabbies! The coordinates brought us to an uncharted peak. A great mountain rising from the lightless depths. Okay. Shrouded in mystery. We thought we'd prepared for everything. <laughs> you can never be prepared for Lovecraft. Sailing requesting aid. We have negative run of control and are taking on water. Okay. Well, this is go just going fine, isn't it? How little we knew. The abyss hides more than ancient ruins and lost history. And our arrival has not gone unnoticed. In deep waters, the smallest ripple can change everything. Okay, that's a fine introduction. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, I guess, welcome to the sleeping city. Welcome to the home of the great sleeper. After the fall. Okay. Doho! Okay, welcome to Sitting Abyss. You begin the game with one diver under your control. Your first objective is to find a way out of the cave. Move you, the diver by right clicking on the tile. Okay, so I have some oxygen thingy I have to worry about. Yeah, this is actually... <laughs> oh great, there's time limits. Oh fucking hell. I hate time limits. Okay, divers have action points which determine how much they can accomplish in a single turn. You can spend action points on movement in one big move over a series of smaller moves. As long as you do not take other actions, uh, that use up action points in the middle of the moving. Divers normally start the turn with two action points. You can see the action points as orange overall under the diver portrait. Oh, this thing over here. Okay, a small uh, yada yada. Okay, so basically speaking, uh, get over here, I guess. Alright, try to use the maximum of movement, I guess. The visuals are weird, say to, I think it's safe to say. Uh, and yes, I haven't played this thing an inch, ladies and gentlemen. We are going in completely elderly activity. Great! Quick tip. I probably lost one oxygen point. Uh, come to the camera by moving the mouse to screen edges or holding down middle mouse button and dragging. Ah, huh, okay. That's, that's easy. Investigate object. Uh, have you investigated it? Lieutenant Commander Modi swears under his breath a corpse. Of all the caves in the ocean, there is a corpse in this one. That can be a good omen. Through the, uh, through the uniform is old and the years have taken their toll, it is clear that the deceased sailor was an extremely high rank. Not a man who'd... Uh, oh, okay. Nudity, perhaps? A battle? There are no answers here. All Moody knows is that he would rather avoid suffering Whatever gr gruesome fate claimed the man, lowering his head in respect for a fellow sail sailor, he moves on. Okay, that's a dead corpse over there. Okie dokie. Right, carry on. What is this supposed to be? Oh shit, I clicked it by mistake. I think that, that sack is from the Salem. Should check it out. US Navy. Spear gun. 
Okay, surprisingly many problems can be solved by 40 inches of steel. Target an enemy to fire, deals damage, must be loaded between shots. I can take it. You have found your first item, a spear gun. Divers can normally carry two items at a time. Take the spear gun with your right... Uh, okay, right. And drag it to the... What? Oh, here. Ah! Right, I got equipped something. Okay. Most items, uh, item cost action points to use. The spear gun, for example, costs a minimum of one action point and uses up all extra points for increasing accuracy. Loading another spear also takes one action, so plan your actions carefully. Okay, is this thing loaded? Loaded, okay, good. Right, so slowly and steady go uphill. How much oxygen I have? Uh, 80. Okay, I should be fine. Yeah, I mean, like, what's the was that to do? Oh, hello! <laughs> Fuck you. Unknown creature. Whoa, that's a big jellyfish. Maybe I can get around it somehow. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, end the turn. Yeah, unless he's gonna go after me. Okay, I don't think I want to fight with you just yet, so I'm gonna carry on. Oh! There's another diver over here. Wakey, wakey! Lost and found. Navigating the gloomy cavern, Lieutenant Commander Modi comes to an untropped stop. A motionless figure lays hunched against a rock wall, clad in one of the expedition diving suits. He's not alone. Rushing to the side of the fallen comrade, Modi is revealed to see a small burst of bubbles escaping the excavated vent of the suit. Out cold, perhaps, but breathing. This is Lieutenant Commander Modi. Can you hear me? He can only hope the radio transceives on both suits are still functional. The moment of silence feels immensely long, until a faint reply echoes inside the helmet. I'm here! Copy, I mean! It's leading seaman Alzheimer, groggy and confused just as he himself was upcoming, uh, up on coming too. What's going on? Where am I? Not a lot, uh, not a lot of an answer as of yet. Leading seaman, Modi replies, forcing calmness and confidence into his voice. Get up and check your gear. We have a lot to do. And he has full oxygen, that's bullshit. So what's the plan? How are we going to get out of this, Lieutenant Commander? I don't know. First things first, we have to find the Salem and quickly. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm gonna move in first. Okay, can I actually check those things around? I don't think so. Yes, sir, no time to waste. We found a second member of the expedition crew and are now controlling both divers. You can switch between divers by clicking on the portrait on the top. Okay. Your divers have skills to help them survive in the abyss. Mouse over the skill icon on the action bar to learn their functions. Diving suit, remaining air. Uh, what? Wait, what? What? Mouse, uh, mouse over the skill icons to the uh, on the action bar. Action bar? I don't know what the fuck you're referring to, man. What? Where? Oh, he means this thing. Okay, Marine. Immune to physical debuffs and armor increasing by 5 for 3 turns. And then the commander has... Uh, he, he he basically can give an action point for free to, to a uh, fellow seaman. <laughs> Jokes. Okay. Um, sure, sure. I think we can roll with this thing somehow. Right. Close this thing for now. End the turn. Elderly activity. Okay, well, so far so good, right? You go first. Okay, there's a... Uh, there's another one of those bullshits around here. So let's go around you. Try to avoid this thing. Uh, okay, you get closer, but don't get too far away. End the turn. Okay, good. I thought for a second that you can actually... Shit, there's two of them. Crap. A lurking shadow. Yeah, you don't say. Uh, right, how about you're gonna go... Exit cavern. Okay. How can I exit this? Combat. You entered combat. To use the spear gun, click on your action bar. Yeah, okay, can I actually use the knife? No action points. Okay, hold on a second. First things first. Uh, commander. Right, inspired. So he got an action point back. Try to attack this thing. Wow, that's nice. Defeated for good. Okay, and can I now tell you to use the spear gun on this thing? <laughs> That's a spear gun? That's a fucking cannon! Nice! You're grounded. Wow, like a true daddy. 
Plus one clue. Minus one air. Inspect corpse. Sure, why not? The broken jellyfish lies uh, defeated in his feet. Tiny electrical discharge still visible within the pale membrane. Molly is no expert on those creatures, but he knows they don't use electricity to hunt or defend themselves. Entire new species of scissor... scissor... Thaf, 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 how the fuck I'm supposed to pronounce that thing? Scissor-hosa? In a different context, this would be a great biological discovery, but right now it's only putting him on more, more on edge. Yeah, first rule of Lovecraft? Don't go crazy. Second rule of Govcraft, go, Govcraft, Lovecraft, it's kinda impossible to not go crazy. Oh. I'm out, but this must be the ocean floor. Anything interesting or useful around? Uh, fish and scrap metal. Scrap metal here, should grab it just in case. Yeah, probably that's a good idea. Oh, there's light, just north of me. I think it's asylum! That's what, that's what I want to hear. I'm right behind you. Sure, uh, okay, let's try to go here, I guess. Okay, don't try to go too far away because your commander-in-chief is behind. Okay, now try to get out. Aha, I've managed to get outside. Okay, get over here. This is creepy, but I like the visuals, man. All right, I got, why, why the heck this guy has like three action points right now? Is it because of the buff I gave him? No idea. Oh, yeah, it's for three turns. Oh, that's nice. I thought that this is for... Yay! I thought this is only for one turn, so that's why he has so much uh, so much movement. Okay, copper. Pick it up, I guess. Nice! I wonder what I can use that thing for. End the turn. Elderic activity. Ooh, creepy. Right, I still got some air, so... Let's try to maybe discover some more crap, but I don't think we're gonna find anything useful. Right. So, USS Salem Anchor. Carefully ascending the sturdy anchor chain. Uh, combo. Okay, I, I get this thing. This is the airlock contraption of the can. The machine opens with ease, just as in the training. He can't wait to be inside and shit this damn suit. The conic tower is a mess. While mysterious equipment stuffing haphazardly all around the small room, first things first though, the control room. The leading seaman kneels next to the hatch and pulls. The heavy steel door gives way with a tortured crack, revealing an almost still surface of the dark water. The ship is floated. Panic crews in the head with, within Al's, Al's, Al's harder. The Salem is, on the, uh, is their only way home. His only hope of seeing his family again is uh, if it's not uh, not uh, if it's too badly damaged to move or even surface focus the scope is floating which means there's plenty of air inside somewhere all they need to do is pump the water out of the flooded section and get the equipment in the control room operational he is going not going down without a fight mission complete okay Evac evacuate when ready primary uh, did I won? Whoa. Yay! Mission success! Yeah, as much as you can get success with fighting <laughs> with ancient horrors. What in the seven hells is this supposed to be? The submarine. Salem is your base of operations through Stirring Abyss. As you progress through the game, you can use the power and other resources to throw function to the Salem, for example, to unlock the ability to heal injured crew members. You will need a pump. Uh, you will need to pump the flooded control room to access other rooms. Click the drop symbol uh, on the room to pump it. Pumping costs power, which replenish during missions. You will need uh, also need some scrap and copper to repair the control room. The Salem also has an inventory that contains critical supplies. Drag item out of the inventory into the divers. Yada yada. Okay. Whoa, that's a lot of things. Power 15 on 25. Sharp or charge. Sometimes this solution is mod most effective. Throw a charge that will explode, releasing sharp and shredding any entities with the area. Medkits. Flares. Okay. Right, so click this thing. Yay! Upon ending the room, you will recover its resources and equipment. On flare. The control room is no longer flooded. However, some of the critical systems in the room have been damaged and must be repaired before they can be used. Must over the room to use the repair costs. Yada yada yada. 
Okay, so it's five scrap metal and three copper. Good thing I've, by some unknown means, apparently by the will of the sleeping god, I've managed to get the exact amount of resources that I need. The great machine comes alive slowly. Machine is to lock it behind flooded sections, responding to the call of the control room. The hum and vibration of the engines brings hope, but not as much as the blinding light on the radio panel, the emergency beacon locator. Ten of diver suits, each fitted with a transmitter, are missing from their storage. Only one single is active right now, but perhaps the others are just out of range or temporarily disabled. After the difficult repairs and the hunting empties they found on the Salem, it feels good to have a clear way forward. Much remains to be done aboard the ship. Most functions are completely offline, and the rest is held together by the power of the duct tape and positive thinking. Hey! You'll be surprised how many things are getting repaired by duct tape! To make things more difficult, the warning man wiring manual in the control room maintenance cabinet has escaped in waterproof casing. The old girl is going to need some serious dry dog time if... If, when, they get home. Okay. Just one more wire and there we go! The radio array is up and running. Good. This is some good info. We got a signal! We'll have to move the ship. But it's not far. The old girl can limp that distance, even in this shape. Nice. Okay, Enigma board. Enchant your crew. Requ uh, repair office quarters. <laughs> Good luck with that thing. Uh, I don't think I can. Yeah, I cannot pump out the water any uh, out of any of the other rooms because I got seven power left, and all of those require eight. Yeah. What? Sure. I mean, like, what's the worst that could possibly happen, right? Expedition lost. Okay, find out what happened to the rest of the crew, primary. The signal is coming from somewhere nearby. Divers come in three different classes. Office oh, don't want to be out here either. What well, the others need us. Yes, sir! Duty calls! Let's bring them home. Keep an eye out for the warning manual as well. Without it, we're in real pickle. Why you don't have another copy? The divers come in different classes, officer, crewman, and scientist. Each class has access to different skills and different strengths and weakness in combat. Crewmen are melee oriented and will often be found in the thick of the battle, while officers and scientists have more access to range and support skills. Okay. Where the shit is- Ah! Hi guys! Why the fuck you s on the ground and sleeping? And apparently I can also use some power from the ship. L illuminate the- like this of which those deeps have not seen in eons. Use the USS Sale Salem, Salem powerful uh, searchlight to illuminate the target area. Duration 2. Evacuate. Oh. Okay. Amplify signal. Beware the LED red blimps. Amplify your sonar for a short period of time to gain valuable information about nearby threats. Sure, sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Right, uh, okay, so I, I think we have to go south. The sonar thing is a bit weird. Okay, try to go here, let's see. I can go there. Okay, you, check out this. Ah, this is a dead end. Okay, so we have to go this way, actually. This is nice, holy shit, man. Okay, I got my spear gun with me, so this is, should not be that, that hard. Okay, end the turn, Elderic activity, yeah, 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 I know, I know. Not need that thing. Okay, you're going first, crewman, because I'm an officer, and it, as obviously I am way too important, more important than you are. Hmm. Okay, it's not exactly a dead end. Elderic activity. Okay. Just try to stay on the open space, you know. If something's gonna attack us, we'll be able to see it. Just in time to make a dying scream and die in agony. Ah, oh, there's a bloody ass thingy over there. Right, move closer. Elderic activity. He have escaped. Okay, can I shoot you now? One health remaining. Are you serious? Get over here. And finish the job. I've... How did I've missed? 82% to fucking hit and I've missed? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That was probably a terrible idea. Ow. Okay. I screwed up. Say the least that I screwed up a lot. 
Time to evacuate my asses out of there, and I want to evacuate now. I cannot move. Okay, there we go. Right, evacuate. Captain, you better load that bullshit. Okay, and like she get back as well. Hmm, you know what? I'm kind of thinking about using the searchlight thingy. Woo! Brightness! But actually, I cannot shoot now once again. Okay, wait for the enemies to get closer. Yeah, come on, swim a bit closer, dipshit. I got shitloads of harpoons waiting for you, stupid ass. Hello. Yeah, keep on coming, keep on coming. Good job, hello, how are you? Right, first, this guy, uh, attack whatever this thing is. Good job, you've killed it. Wait, can I attack the other one? Oh my god, you're a fucking killing machine, aren't you? Right, you use the uh, spear gun thingy on whatever this thing is. Ha! <laughs> nice shot! Is there anyone else who wants to fucking face me in combat? No? Good. Scouting ahead. Repair the control room has unlocked two submarine skills that will help you find mission objectives. Uh, Sonar allows you direction of the creature. Okay, use the submarine skill, top right, yada yada yada. So basically he's telling me about the searchlight and the scanner thingy. Okay, one of the... One of them left a plenty of valuable item? I don't think so. Okay, apparently I cannot get any more information out of those things. Sure. Okay, that's a dead end. Yeah, and you cannot get... Th this is just smelly, isn't it? Yeah, it's just smelly. I thought this is actually has, you know, something I could try to use. Something I could try to salvage to get more information on the mission. No, that's just uh, That's just a smelly corpse. Underwater. Don't question it. But I see some scrap! Elderic activity. Oh, that's a grave! That's a grave if I've ever seen one. Okay, pick up the scraps. Thank you. Now move the commander. What the fuck is this? The ghastly bone have been pickled clean. Pick it clean. Some previous unknown species of or a high human or another type of mutant? Upon closer inspection, the mishap and skull has a direct, unnatural look into it. As it had a bulgret and deformed suddenly and traumatically rigid uh, and traumatically rather than having grown, it's, uh, grown that way. Okay. Uh, I think I want you to go first. Just in case. Alright, I'm gonna follow after you. Maybe I should actually reload the weapon. There you go. <laughs> Probably should do that thing next time a bit sooner. What the fuck are those? Unknown creature. Uh, sure? What the fuck is this? Okay. Air supply. One of your divers is running low on air. When divers have seven or less turns of air left, they start suf suffering from... Oh, great. Which drains so small amounts of sanity. There you go. You cannot have a true Lovecraft experience without, you know, a, a sanity meter. You can refill air by using air tanks or finding and using an air vent. Is that an air vent? Okay. You can also evacuate the divers if needed too. Sure. But I prefer to kill this thing first. That make a lot of smell. Alright, try to get closer. And investigate the dead corpse. Splay it open. All that remains of the once bulgling pot are the shreds of a thin but tough shell stirring between supporting spines. The pressure inside of the bizarre coral like husk have been immense. A qu uh, quirk of evolution previously unknown to science or the consequences of some unnatural force. Probably both, a little bit. Okay, get. Uh, get here. Because that fucking Medusa is probably gonna try to attack me. Okay, Elderic activity, my ass. Reload. Get over here, and you're about to attack. In the meantime, my comrade in arms... Ah, oh, fuck, there's one of them over here. Okay, try to evacuate. I'm kinda looking for the oxygen uh, thingy, just in case. Alright, he's coming closer, so I'm gonna try to stab you in the face. Hello! Goodbye! And you have to finish this thing. Good job! Now I need to look for for oxygen. 
Hello. Ow. Oh shit, there's more of them. Crap. Ow. Right. Reload the weapon. Get over here. Oh crap. Oh, at the very fucking cage. Right, you finish off those two things. That's one. That's two. I am good at killing, man. I am really good at killing, apparently. Uh, right, where's the fucking oxygen? No, this is a serious question. Where the shit is oxygen in stupid game? Hmm. That's a bit of a problem around here, because as you have noticed, I don't really have access to oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Try to look for oxygen, boys. I don't see any oxygen around here. Right, I think oxygen is actually in the back. Ah, <laughs> oh, great! The mental state of the crew is vital resource. Whatever they are zero uh, to zero sanity, they lose their next turn uh, to an episode of madness. Each episode of madness also apparently reduces the maximum sanity of the diver. That's not good. That's really, really not good. I cannot find oxygen around here. I'm about to fucking die. Is oxygen over here, maybe? This is bullshit. Can't find any fucking oxygen around here. Elderic activity. Okay. Oh! Is that oxygen? What the fuck is that thing? There's something here! On two legs! Yeah, I've noticed. Th this is none of one of us. Someone else from the Salem? Probably no. Great, and now I don't see anything. Uh oh. This is not good! I'm coming, Marine! Hold up tight! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I've came! Right, you attack with knife. Just remember that you're about to su suffocate as well. Oh, I've missed. Great! No action points. Enemies in standing can be, uh, have unique strange strength and weaknesses. Okay. Neurotoxin. Great! Oh, this is just going perfectly, isn't it? Okay, reload the spear gun. How much oxygen you have left? Two. Oh, great! Right. I need to get my oxygen. I need to get the oxygen now. Okay, we got some oxygen back. We got some more oxygen back. Oh, okay, I should be fine. Right, uh... You need to... Okay, get over here. Finish this guy. How the fuck you've managed to miss? No, this is a serious question. How the shit you've actually managed to... Ow! Neurotoxin. Disoriented. Uh, okay, they cannot attack for the next turn. They wander around aimlessly and suffer a penalty to the defense. Good to know! Good to know! I'm about to fucking die! Okay, get to the fucking air vent and replenish yourself. Oh, thank god! Whew, that was close. Right. Try to attack. Good job. Uh, Marine. Oh, I should have probably used this thing. Oh. Wait, can I still use this thing? Falter harder it. Okay. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Right, you cannot do actually anything else. Actually, get out of the way of the other marine. So he'll be able to get closer to this enemy and slap him in the face. Ow. No a toxin. Thanks, man. Always wanted to experience that bullshit. Here. Motherfucker. Whew. Well, that was close. Now we have to go to the cave. To the deep, dark cave. Underwater. You serious with this? Small scrap over here, so I'm about to go here, hopefully. Right, you go to the corpse, investigate it. The gaunt corpse is unlike anything Azrael has seen before. Features common to deep sea animals mixed with a frame that is far closer to human than he would care to admit. The size of its eyes explained they were strange beasts was no average averse uh, to the light of their suit slams compared to the near perfect darkness of the home. Okay, the ants we can describe as they are not appear to see much use. 
Simple conclusions are this, uh, that the spine the creature propel must be primary defense, as well as a hunting strategy. The simple clothing also implies the use of advanced tools. Alzheimer's can't help but feel that there is more to those spine scholars than meets the eye. Yeah, sure, okay. Right, uh... You're gonna go all downstairs, man. Have fun. Oh, great, more of this bullshit. Okay, right, wait for the captain, maybe. Ah, great, more of those bullshits. Uh, can you grab this scrap metal, please, for me? Uh, the scrap metal sound completely different. God damn it. Okay, going around in circles all day, every day. Right, you go here. Good job, you've managed to stop a Medusa. Elderic activity. Ow. Yeah, this marine is gonna require some serious medical attention after, after all of this. Like, holy shit, man, he's taking so much damage. Whew. Pick up the metal. Okay, now get the hell out of there. Right, that's gonna take a while. Oh crap, I'm losing oxygen like crazy. This is not good. Ah, speaking of oxygen, more oxygen over there. How nice. How nice of you, game. Thank you so much. The fuck is that thing? Investigate object. The hell is this? Whispers around leading Simon Asher has not approached the prim primitive shrine. In the moment, he might have a chance to turn away, but reason and bravado overrides the instinctive response to flee. As a set of red eyes flare a bit open between the horns of uh, the moment has passed, he is trapped. Do not fear, the voice whispers. I offer much and ask for so little. As he struggles, but uh, as if the suits is lined with lead, there is no escape from the red eyes that seems to burrow into his skull. Meet the stare head on. The fuck? Okay. Dice. In some situations, success or failure is designed by the game of dice with fate. The difficulty of the task ahead can vary, and different the divers may be more suited to different challenges. You cannot choose to reload any no number of dice once. You can choose to reload any number of dice once per event. Click on each dice uh, die you wish to select, then click reload. However, the course negative uh, the course negative side of dice prevents rerolling. You can further improve your chances by upgrading your dice through the Enigma board. Uh, okay. Reload selected. Oh, okay, so we got those things. Uh, right, can I reload this? No, I can't. So, those two give me minus... Can I reload those? Actually, let's try to do, do this thing. Plus one. The horns of the shrine and the chrisman dismembered eye investigations. You have uh, gained access to invocations, ability and blessings granted by mysterious patron of the shrine. Invocations use points shared by all divers, as well as action points. Invocation points are fully regenerated for each mission. You've come to a dangerous place. Already you have faced my wayward children, and worse ways you should have continued. Vegesis for my power still remain. Call to me if you require aid, and I will attempt to twist the face in your favor. Who are you? Hey, wait, wait, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. What do you want from us? There's no response. The silence is obvious returned, leaving only a tingling at the back of his neck. Someone or something is watching. The power that surges through the shrine is too much for us to handle, as his will succumbs, the darkness around him seems to intensify. Gain access to invocations, corruption level. That's not good. That's really not good. Corruptions. Corruption level. Oh, hold on a second. Corruption level has advantage uh, advanced by the first step. The track can be found at the bottom right of the screen. The abyss grows more dangerous with each level, introducing new threats to already plurious mission. Great! Make my mission just a little bit harder, because why the fuck no, right? Oh great, a fishing net. This could uh, only be a fishing net. 
Uh, everything got an ear, even... Okay. It's just a fishing net. I hope it's only a fishing net. Right, end the turn. There's some movement over here. I think. Yeah, there is one of those. Okay. Right, first things first, get some oxygen. Okay, now get over here. And we're about to do some shooting, boy. Oh, there's another diver over there. How nice! Right, end the turn. The abyss grows darker. The fuck is that? I don't know what that thing was, and I don't think I want to know what that thing was. The fuck is this? Oh. Oh. Invocation points. Oh, so basically those are cheats. Will not attack friendly targets if overtaken by insanity. Oh. I'm coming for you, dipshit. Hello, how are you? Right, uh... You know what? Leave, give you a movement point. Get over here and attack this dipshit. Good job! You... Oh, fuck. Ow! Look at the size of that thing! The fuck is this? Okay. Let's keep a safe distance if we can. It looks like a predator. Yeah, I fucking noticed. Okay, uh, new plan. Shoot! I cannot reload. Okay, you. Finish him. Finish this guy off. Can you attack again? Hey! Who's the fucking Apex Predator in the fucking seas? Ha! <laughs> Easy mode. Right. Uh, investigate the corpse. At first glance, the anatomy of the fallen brute defies all reason. The head is smaller than, uh, to, similar to that of an orca, with a mouth of razor sharp teeth. Smooth and rubbery skin also points towards a m mammalian nature. What cruel trick of Darwin chance resulted in a morally deep sea creature is beyond his comprehension. But Asker cannot deny that he, this fiend, stop fucking moving the screen, did indeed walk those desolated depths. The large bony hook at the end of each arm looks dangerous, but unwielded. How this beast managed to dress himself in this farce linen cloth is a mystery, as there are logistics of spinning linen underwear. Perhaps this Mark Fiend, as he resolves to name the creature, is not a product of natural selection at all, but the lotsome result of a more prenegitous process of mutation. I don't know. Grab your fellow seamen and let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, yada yada yada. Okay, snapping out of it, uh, realizes that there is no time to waste. Briefly or not. Okay, so. Abdul. Oh, Abdul! Chokes back tears of relief and activates his comms. Long story, but I say this. It's good to hear a voice, Bowman. A glimmer of hope lives his spirits. Maybe there is hope for them yet. What happened, Bowman? Do you have any idea where are you or how you got here? Probably no. Uh, senior officer, yada yada yada, basically, you know, chit chat. That everything went crazy. Something moved behind me, the captain moved scene, but did nothing to stop it or warn me. I tried to pull my knife, but an impossible strong grip pinned my arm. He just stood there. How could he just stand there? Oh, okay, so a penty dig had hallucinations as well. I have some. Okay. You already look like a crazy man. Evacuate. You found a result uh, and rescued another diver and completed the mission. Now it's time to evacuate. The Salam can get you while you're inside of the cave. But once you're back outside, you can set up an evac point. Okay. So basically what you need to do is grab all of the remaining people and get the fuck out of here. Move it! Now I've actually wondered what have spawned outside. The fuck is this? I don't think I want to know. Ugh. This is disgusting. Okay, uh, right, we're wait for the other guy and we are about to pr perform evacuation procedures. Come on, the other guy over here. Also, she's a scientist apparently. So, uh, that's great. Traits, masochists. Sure, sounds cozy, why not? Right, okay, everybody is out. Uh, drop the evacuation point. Here, I guess. Okay, so what? I'm supposed to just move inside or what? Ah, how nice. Yay, we're about to evacuate. Phew. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I have to press the button. Sorry! Oof, that was close. Holy shit, USS Salem. Okay, threats naturalize a lot of them. Bunch of scrap, shit lots of research points and stuff like that. Okay, the third crew returned clues. You have gathered enough clues to start unlocking objects to the Enigma board. Okay, leveling up. Once uh, one or more of your crew members have earned uh, a level up, increasing their stats and unlocking new abilities. Levels are awarded after missions and you can see uh, which levels have a, le a level up. Okay, good to know. Can you stop rolling this thing when I'm still reading other things? The third crewman cr control room, yada yada yada. Oh, welcome back, guys. Standing in the controls is Anthony Black, one of the ship's cooks. He looks haggard but alive. He continues. Sir, I didn't speak up sooner. I came up inside one of the damn storage lockers just as we were heading out, and I wasn't myself for a bit there. Oh boy, I had strange dreams, I tell ya. Black is clearly still a bit of out of it, but he's good to have another member on the expedition back. So we got four members back. Just tell me what you need to be done, sir. Yeah, no problem. We might need uh, need you out there, Black. It's all hands on deck. Well, apparently. This diver is not on your away team. Oh, sorry, I can only have... Oh, I can only have three people on my away team. Interesting. That's like a thing. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, I on the day when I'm recording this, I don't think you can actually still play the game, uh, because apparently the Atom event have ended. But the game will actually go into its full release very, very soon. So it's gonna be link in the description below. Description below, okay, not English. That will lead you to the Steam page where you can get the game. And if you basically like love Lovecraft, you loved rank playing games, and you love you know tactical games as well, then I think that this game is gonna find a really cozy place on your Steam library list. So feel free to do so. My tongue is already hurting me from all of this talking, so I think this is actually a good moment to leave this episode as over here. Let me know what you think, and, well, maybe we're gonna try to roll some more episodes once the full game will go into its release. But, as I said, that's gonna be the thing for the future. So thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, like the episode, please help a lot, and see you all in the next video.